good to see you again. Today we're going to be talking about bumblebees. Bees are a really important part of our ecosystem. Bees fly from flower to flower and plant to plant and they do something called pollination, which is really important to keep our plants and fruits and vegetables growing. So today I'm going to teach you how to make a garden that will be really good for the bees. Here's what you'll need for this project. A paper egg carton, a misting bottle, seeds for plants that bees really like, and some potted soil. All right, let's get started. First thing you're gonna wanna do is take the top off of your egg carton. You're gonna poke a tiny hole in the bottom of each egg holder. Now you just want to take this part and put it back in the top part so that we have a draining tray. Now I'm going to take my potting soil and put a little bit in every single one of these. You're going to want to fill every section about halfway. All right, I have filled my egg carton with soil and now we can plant our seeds. Here are the seeds that I have today. Lavender, marigolds, and chives. Generally, bees like things that have a very strong smell and they really like flowers. I'll also leave a list of other plants that bees like in the description below. I'm going to put the seeds in each different compartment. Pay close attention to what your seed package says about how deep you should bury your seeds. My lavender seeds say that they should barely be covered by the soil, and my marigolds and my chives say that they should be buried about a quarter inch deep. For my lavender seeds, I'm just going to gently sprinkle them on the top. A trick that you can do for yourself is you can pick a color for each different kind of seed that you're planting and draw a little circle on the inside of the egg container to label them. This way, when the seedlings sprout, you'll be able to tell what kind of plant they are. Now I'm going to do my chives. Since these are a little bit different and need to be buried a little bit deeper, what I'm going to do is take a sprinkle of them, put them on the top, and then push them in with my finger. Since the marigolds are bigger, you'll only want to put one seed in each section. Now that that's done, you can put it in front of a window that has lots of sun and check back on it every day. After about a week, you should start seeing little sprouts. And once that happens, you can cut the section out of the egg carton and go ahead and bury it in more soil in a pot. You won't need to worry about taking the seedling out of the cardboard because the cardboard will break down and biodegrade like compost. It'll actually be really good for the soil. And there you have it. Now we have the starter of a garden that will help our bees so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this project. It's so much fun. You get to check on it every day and it really helps our planet. Hope you all are having fun out there. I'll see you next time. Bye.